Hello, my name is Leah Bracken, and today I will walk you through a process flow solution and an Apex application. To start, we'll sign into our application, upload a document, and through various roles, we'll approve it until we have an approved document. If you would like to learn how to customize your login page, please refer to this YouTube video. All reference YouTube videos will be linked in the description. Now we will sign in as our first persona, Leah, who has an approval level of zero. Here is Leah's dashboard, which displays a breakdown of the current document statuses and a classic report with advanced searching. This search allows you to leverage Oracle text, where you can search on the contents of documents of various types. For example, we can search to see what documents contain the word claims. Here we can see that two documents are returned. We can also try with other searches, such as safety, beds, and management. For more information on how to leverage full text search, please refer to this YouTube video. Now let's navigate to the document upload page. Here we'll put in the document details, such as name, description, and justification. Then we'll choose a document to upload and click create. After we've uploaded the document, it takes us to the document status page. Here we can see the various statuses of the documents we have submitted. Our example document is color yellow, signifying it is waiting for the first line of approval. We've also received an email notification letting us know that the document has been submitted for approval. Now we will sign in as our second persona, Chip, who has an approval level of one. We can see that Chip has a slightly different dashboard page, with a region here showing documents that are waiting his approval. Let's navigate to the Document Approval Review page and click into the document that is waiting Chip's approval. Here we can see the various high-level document details and view our document. To learn how to set up a PDF viewer with your application, refer to this YouTube video. We can also add in approver notes and decide if we'd like to reject or approve this document. If we go to the document status page, we can see that our document has changed from yellow to blue, signaling the next line of approval. We've also received an email notifying us that our document has been submitted for the second line of approval. Now let's sign in as our final persona, Steve. Steve has an approval level of two. On Steve's dashboard, let's click into the document awaiting his approval. Here we can see the previous approver comments, add in our own, and approve the document. On the document status page, we can see our document has changed from blue to green, signifying that the document approval process is complete. We have also received our final email, letting us know that our document has been approved. Now, let's go into our workspace and see what's under the hood of this application. Let's check out the underlying tables for this application. Here we have our document table. This allows us to upload the document as a blob, along with other important information we need for the approval process. For information on how to add a blob column to your table, please refer to this YouTube video. Next, we have our approver table. This table contains our personas, along with their coordinating approval level ID. The level ID allows them to approve the document at different points in the process. Here we have the approval level table. This is the approval level ID in the description. It tells us at what point the document is in for the overall process, whether it's first line approval, second line approval, approved, or rejected. We can also use SQL commands under SQL Workshop to test out various SQL queries. For example, let's test out sending an email from Apex using a SQL command. Next, let's cover our different user roles and page authorization. In your application, under Shared Components, navigate to Application Access Control. This is where I've defined the different roles of the application. I've created different roles based on approval level and assigned them to my users. With these user roles, I've created authorization schemes. These authorization schemes allow me to limit access to pages, regions, or even data based on someone's user role. For approval level zero, this authorization scheme checks whether or not the user is in this role or group, so whether or not the user is in approval level zero. 
If you would like to leverage authorization schemes with Oracle Identity Cloud Service, please reference this YouTube video. Let's see how we apply the authorization scheme to a specific page. In our document review page, we can search under security for the authorization scheme. Here we have the authorization scheme approval one and two applied. That means that only personas Steve and Chip could have access to this page. Now let's look a little bit behind the page logic. In the document upload page, let's see the logic behind the create button. Here I have two dynamic actions associated with my create button, send email and submit. Let's look a little bit deeper into send email. Here in the PL SQL code is the same logic I had earlier in the video to send an email, but I've added some HTML to make it look a little bit prettier for the receiver. Now let's look at the logic for the document review page. Depending on the user's approval level, they'll have different documents waiting in their queue, so that Persona Steve and Chip will have different documents waiting for them to review. This logic is reflected in our Approve and Rejected buttons. In our Approve button, we can see that we have various dynamic actions. In the Approved Update Value dynamic action, we update the document's current approval level as well as the approver comments. We have two dynamic actions around sending emails, and this depends if it's the first line of approval or the second line of approval. The logic here is very similar to our create button, where we've added in some HTML into our SQL code. Within the SQL code, it's checking for the document's current approval level. And based on that approval level, it'll either send the second line of approval email or that the document has been approved. Our reject button has very similar dynamic actions where we update the rejected value along with the approver comments and send an email that the document has been rejected. Throughout this video, we have covered a process flow demo. We followed a document's journey from uploaded to approved. We then covered email notifications and process flow logic. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been helpful.